Can we start the pod? Today is going to be me and Robert so excited about the guest that we're going to have on. I Over the don't moon. know who it is at all. Yeah, we haven't told you. And generally, um, you're going to mark this moment as before <laughs> you knew who this person was. And then now after you know who this person you're going to flip your fucking it? lid. Where's my copy of Windy City Heat? Man, I fucking know. Hang on. Find it, baby. He's so he Jamie, he's showing up in three minutes. Guys, much like you. Some people out there who don't know uh, our guest today, you're going to be in the same boat as Jamie Lee, and she's going to be learning about him for the first time. I have time. no idea, you guys. He's a movie star. He's uh, one of the biggest streamers right now on Twitch. To me and Kasim, he's one of the funniest uh, he's people He's a movie ever. star? He's a movie star. He was the star of his own film, which he's oh going to... I will let him tell you when he gets in here, because uh, a little birdie... I wish I did my hair and makeup. A little birdie whispered in my ear, Amy, and told me that he actually finds you very attractive. Me? And he's yeah. a movie star. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. So. I've annoyed with Cutter and all this accountant talk, so maybe I'm ready to move on. You know? <laughs> yeah. Cutter's been getting in that group chat, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, babe? Yeah, everything's all good. Did you find the... I can't hey, find we need a we need an accountant. Does anyone know or is anyone <laughs> an accountant? We need one. Yeah, anybody out there an accountant? We 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 Jamie uh we were using Jamie's accountant accountant. She's leaving. We're looking for an accountant now. We don't have one. I'm sure there's no better place to ask than And Cutter is so afraid that we are missing like some type of LLC fees or something. Yeah, that- come be our accountant and then realize we, why we have to do six ads uh, per podcast. <laughs> yeah. Have get some us- empathy for us. Get us out of this hole, people, please. We need help. Hey, thanks for joining the pod, everyone. Before we get started, uh, we have a few sponsors we'd like to welcome to the pod. Athletic Greens. With so many stressors in life, it's difficult to maintain effective nutritional habits and give our bodies the nutrients it needs to thrive. Busy schedules, poor sleep, exercise, the environment, work stress, simply not eating enough of the right foods can leave us deficient in key nutritional areas. Guys, I'm really excited about this one. Uh, Athletic Greens, the health and wellness company, it makes daily nutrition very simple. So it's one scoop of stuff. It has 75 vitamins and minerals, whole food sourced ingredients. It's incredible. There's... uh, greens and there's probiotics and it's a special but it's it's uh, i was reading the stuff that's like um fruits vegetables broccoli the, everything w- when you don't have time if you have kids if you're busy or at work this you just take one scoop you put it into you could even put it into water if you want but they say you can put it into juice you put it into your smoothie you put it into whatever you want and it is gonna get your body will thank you for using ag1 by athletic greens mm-hmm. that's right you guys i can tell you it's a busy mom It's lifestyle friendly. And also whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free or gluten-free, it contains less than one gram of added sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, artificial anything while keeping it tasting good. So join the movement of athletes, life, life leads, moms, dads, rookies, first timers, and everyone in between taking ownership of their daily health and focusing on the nutrition products they really need in the simplest manner possible. That's essentialist nutrition. Just so you know, AG1 supports uh, energy, Focus. It helps with gut health, digestion, and supports a healthy immune Sprinkle system. Sprinkle it on, babies. Put just put a dusting of it on whatever you're drinking. That's Eat. right. So to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you an immune supporting free one year supply of vitamin D. Such an important vitamin to take, you guys. And five free travel packs with your first purchase if you visit athleticgreens.com/slash pajama today. Again, simply visit athleticgreens.com slash pajama to take control of your health and give AG1 a try. Your body will thank you. Ring alarm, ring a ring.com. Ring alarm. This is great for our today's guest on the show. Oh, absolutely. Why? You guys are about to uh, meet one of our favorite guests and he uses a ring doorbell. And from the makers of ring doorbell comes ring alarm. Everyone knows about the Ring Video Doorbell. We love to watch their videos that people post online when people do funny things. But did you know Ring makes an award-winning alarm? Did you? 
No, well, I, we're about to tell well, you. I did. Yeah, I do. it is a I great way to provide safety to you, your family and your loved ones. It provides peace of mind. I know when Cutter goes out of town, I'm alone with the boys. I feel so much safer that I have my ring alarm. It is powerful. It's affordable. It's a home security system that you can easily install yourself. But if you don't want to lift a finger, Ring also has a team that can set it up for you, which I think is really awesome. That's right, guys. Uh, This holiday season, deck the halls, walls, and doors, and windows with the best deals of the year on the award-winning Ring Alarm. Go to ring.com forward slash pants to get a great deal on a Ring Alarm security kit today. That's ring.com forward slash pants. Thanks, guys. Um, Big pod today. I really can't wait for you guys. This is... uh, Perry Caravello is somebody I've known about since um, I want to say like the year 2002 or three. Windy City Heat came out. Can we send her up here? Yeah. What do you want to get in there, man? We're cozy. Looking like John Bender today, babe. I know. I had to look good. I had to look it up. Um, (laughs) Right. You could have just said like the bad boy from Breakfast Club. I didn't know his name. Yeah. Me and Perino know. We know John Bender. That's all that matters. (sighs) Yeah. If you guys are watching this, Perino, uh, the day this pod drops, Perino's actually in the house. We're going to have Perino on the pod. Yep. And also G4 launches on the 16th officially. Uh, So check us out. See if it's on your local cable. We're on Cox, Fios, a bunch of stuff, but also YouTube. YouTube, Twitch. By the way, personal plug. if it's not on your cable, you better write. You better call. Yeah, you write your senator. Yeah. You call s- your governor. You see what these people do in the parks? They're protesting the vaccine. We want you to do that. But Casm's face, G4, we want you to let them know if you're if That's you guys right. don't have if you don't have G4, move. That's different. How do company. they watch you if they don't have cable? Yeah, YouTube and Twitch. Oh, we'll be live. We'll be live. You know, yeah. it's where all it's where all the good shows are. Succession. Uh, success. God, I, I love that show. Um, probably the best show on TV right now. So yeah, it's so good. I can only stay awake for like sixteen minute increments, like when I get to bed. Like as soon as I get in my bed, I have to. What? Well, let me see. Well, Cass, maybe you saw this, but Rob, you know what? Like daylight savings fucks kids up like so bad, and in return, like their parents, you're like so. F- you're you're fucking screwed this for like at least a week and a half. I'm not having Dude, kids. My kids have been getting up at 4 15, 4 30 in the morning, like every fucking day. It has sucked so bad. And <laughs> the first day of daylight savings, Jack like lost his mind, like <laughs> lost it. He's a child of the sun. <laughs> you know? They're so tired. I hate daylight savings. I, so I, much. I really uh, empathize because it's like uh, it gets, why do we have at, it at 2 15 today it was it felt like it was 7 30 like the <laughs> you know like during the summer the sun goes down at like 8 8 30 yeah the, and then it's you can kind of tell the day is waning that's Your body what it's feels like at it. two at 2 30 it, yeah. and honestly it's like when you start to see that like that sun start to go down and you, your body just goes oh Day's over. Like anything you wanted to do, you should have did earlier. Look forward to tomorrow. You know, like there's, there, it's just like a such a defeatist thing. You know, I'm texting yeah. with the guest right now. Who's? Oh, I hope nobody saw that. Yeah, but uh, who's coming? On. I'm so I'm I got tingles, but it's, I'm so excited. I really, I, he's electric. No disrespect. I really wish you would have told me it was a movie star, and I would have like presented no, myself. Better. No disrespect to any of the guests that we've ever had. Zero. None at all. We've had terrific guests. Yeah. None of them. I've been this excited for how much preparation did oh. we put into this cast? Me and Rob had more a than phone Alejandro call. Rojas. <laughs> yay me. Yay me. See, that's why she's our Yamie Lee. She is a, the queen of comedy. <laughs> she is a comedy. Yeah. Uh, we had a phone call to have a rundown of what our show was going to be like today to make sure we could uh, like a real show. Yeah, met emails back and forth. His handler that we're talking to people. We have that- media assets. We have yeah, all kinds of like. There's said, well, a lot of balls. I mean, in the I am right wearing now. our merch, but like, ooh, that's a you know, I it's gonna. I'm not even gonna because I'm gonna sound like a shill. I'm not even gonna say it. I was gonna a say shill? it's nice to some nice color green. It is a nice color green. And, it's, a nice, it's a nice color green. Uh, look, we do get occasionally some emails about folks that are wondering know if we're gonna restock those. Um, the question is. Maybe. Are we out of stock? The answer is maybe. I think there's like only smalls left of one yeah. color. I think our next thing 
should be a fan designed. And I think it should just say, now we're podding. And we figure out a fucking uh, cool design around that. A t- what T-shirt? Something that's not. T- I mean, these hoodies. You're are so fucking- cool. You have a slogan. No, pun. That's cool. Let me tell you something real fast. I went on a couple of dates with this girl and uh, she w- we watched one episode of uh, Love on the Spectrum. I'm trying to get this in before he shows up. There was a list of all the reasons of why you might be autistic. And one of them, it was like repeating yourself or like there was something that was like getting stuck on a phrase or whatever. And she put in, she sent me the picture and she put in parentheses. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't so say funny. we're stuck on that phrase. It's just kind of like, yeah, it's just a part of it. Does us. she listen but to the pod? She doesn't listen to the pod. But the, oh, the reason why I was so bitch. stuck on it was because when you're watching um, Love on the Spectrum and one autistic person makes a sexual move at another autistic person, I go right to hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see that grab a hand. Is it okay if I hug you? I'm like, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, yeah, there. yeah it, it is. It, it is not something I'd say we get stuck on. It is like an emphasis. It's an exclamation point to the end of a sentence. You know what I right. mean? It's like when somebody hits a fucking three pointer and then they do the, they fucking point hell it. Hell yeah, yeah though. Mm. Now they let you know they fucking dunked on you. Wow. Um, Jamie, I, I, I want to let you know that, uh, we are going to use you as just, you're going to represent, you know, the folks that may not know who the, the unlucky folks that may not know who Perry Caravello is, yeah. who is, uh, about to join us very shortly. Um, this is, wow. There he is. There he is. This is a big Perry. We're so excited to have you, Perry. I'm honored. This I'm serious. It. Perry, okay. are you crying? Let him let him talk. No, I don't want to. I don't want to cry. I don't want to. This cry. is huge. Yeah. This is no, huge. This is, our, this is this is truly an honor for me, and I know for Rob. And I want to introduce you to Jamie. To Lindsay. all of you. To all of you. Okay. To Jamie. To Rob. To to you, sir. It's Cassim. 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 Yeah. Let it out, man. We want to. We're here for you. We want to. No, hear I don't want to cry. I, I'm no, to, we, come on. It's let it not out, easy. Man. It's not easy. It happens. It happens on on, on occasion. But but I'm, I, I I I I don't have control over it. No, you're in touch. No, with your but, but, but um, uh, Perry, it is. Truly I want to apologize honor. for you. crying. Please, but do I'm not. honored to see you guys on the air. Don't apologize, man. We're honored to see and, you. We feel, and we feel I'm very same. sorry about your dad passing away. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Tony Soprano, as well as uh, other yeah. family members that have died that I didn't hear about. Thank you. Is that a bang? Oh, yeah. Um, the reason I'm laughing, that's a very uh, sincere moment. But there's a blow up boat behind you that I can't ignore. Yeah, it's a big that's a big inflatable you got there, Perry. What Are you uh, are you big into rafting or? Some motherfucker paid me uh, 500 bucks to blow it up to keep it in my apartment for a, for, for a fucking month. That's a good deal. Paid you 500 bucks to have his inflatable boat? Yeah. Yeah, the, guy's, the, the guy calls himself Dr. Gunk. Yeah. I think, I, I think he's a punk, but... but <laughs> <laughs> are you regretting I, accepting... But now the- I got to keep this fucking boat in my house for 30 days. Are you, are you wow. regretting accepting the $500 for doing it, or are you still happy you took the offer? Uh well well dude it's five hundred bucks so yeah I'm happy that I took the five hundred. You can bucks. deflate it and then just blow it up before he comes back. No, that's not how it works. Jamie. I'm not allowed. To uh, do why that. not? Because not and if that. I may, Perry, I'd like to plug. My boss told um, me I can't uh, deflate it. Perry Perry you? does a live show every uh, a few times a week. Wednesday, and, Friday, Sunday. And it's at oh, uh, Twitch TV slash Perry. Oh, I get it now. It's underscore it's on my shirt. Live. It's on my shirt. Got it. It's right there on his shirt. Um, sure. YouTube.com slash Perry Caravello live on Twitter. He's Perry underscore Caravello. Instagram at Perry Caravello live. TikTok Perry Caravello. I mean, we're so Thank happy to have much. you, man. We're Thank so happy you. to have you. If I may just it's an uh, honor. shower you with some praise, just very briefly, Perry. Uh, I've known about you for a good portion of my life. I just turned 38. Oh. I watched wow. Windy City Heat. Um, you know, it's got to be when I was like twenty. You know, maybe even younger. Nice. And awesome. um, to see somebody achieve his dreams of uh, becoming a movie star was like it, it was kind of what brought me into the entertainment industry. And I and I don't think That's I would have awesome. had the guts to try it if I didn't see you and your process and go through it. But it's also equally amazing that. 
that was just kind of your beginning because you've had exactly. I'm, I, I like to call we're in a, a Caravella re- Renaissance right now. Uh, in why, why would you say ca- that? Caravella Renaissance. Oh, well, thank you. You are on top of the Twitch world. Uh, I tune in. Thank I know you. Rob tunes in, and it is thank you. What what you're doing online is incredible. And if people I got aren't this watching last you, year, can you tell us what that is. I was sent this by Twitch. When what's that say, Perry? Best, it's a little it hard says, to read. Twitch two 2020 award, best new channel, Perry Caravella Live. Wow. Hell yeah. And what do you Twitch do? Sent that to you. What do you do on Twitch? Uh, I, I, I come on the air like I'm talking to you guys and I answer questions that are in the uh, in the ad, you know, that's off to the side in the queue or whatever in the queue. Right. Thank you. Well, one of one of my favorite things that like a kind of an ongoing thing on your thing is that people started sending you food deliveries and it's kind of become a whole thing. Right. The food deliveries I am livid over. Because they oh, don't really? just send me food deliveries, but they send me McDonald's filet of fish with fucking pickles. I can't stand pickles. Oh, you don't like pickles? Mm. I hate pickles. I'm stalked by by these McDonald's people. There was one night, uh, Ronald McDonald was chasing uh, a neighbor down the hallway. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Did you say Ronald McDonald? Ronald, the McDonald, Ronald McDonald. The Ronald McDonald, the guy in costume, or 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 some scumbag. Dressed up like Ronald or the McDonald. the actor who plays Ronald McDonald. No, it was probably him because you're in L.A. Uh, yeah, I fi- I followed a restraining. O- I filed a restraining order and uh, I got to bring the papers. Uh, That's the papers your restraining bring- order. Yeah. Let me just get this straight. The paper in your hand right there is the restraining the order that you have restrained. against Ron- the Ronald McDonald. Yes. Yes. That's incredible. Yeah. So you're in active litigation with a multi-billion dollar corporation or at least the face of it. I'm at the I'm at the dental office a couple of weeks ago in my dental chair, and some guy walks in while I'm in my dental chair, knows exactly which room to walk into, opens the door and just drops the bag on my lap while I'm in the dental chair as I'm laid back. Wow, that's Jesus. Uh, delivered it right to your uh, right to right dentist. at right at the dentist. Can you get a restraining order against him as well, or? Pardon me. The person who delivered it is there, who 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 had it delivered to you to get maybe the restraining order should be. They against use them. different. The, the, the Uber uses different drivers. Do you think okay? the dentist was maybe in on it as well? Have no, you thought about that? No. Yeah. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Wow, no, that's my dentist. That's obscene. My dentist is way. She's way too kind. And then I then I go to get my uh, prostate exam and I'm in the waiting room. Oh. And some jerk off in the waiting room comes into the waiting room. You jerked off in the waiting room, Perry? I'm in the waiting room at, at Kaiser Permanente over here in Woodland Hills. And he looks at me and he goes, Perry, catch. Boom. <laughs> and throws me this bag from the doorway. Oh, so this is it so always this, McDonald's? Something that happens. It was all, only McDonald's garbage. Excuse me. And I got okay? McFlurry. <laughs> I'm just belching. I'm, I'm Oh, no, yeah. Don't yeah. worry. So, about it's all these, it's all these, it's all these carbonated drinks. I've had, I'm a, I'm a bang drinker. And I had McFlurry I all over it. my shirt and stuff. It was just pain in the ass. How are Did these get... people finding you? Yeah. How do they find you? I, I don't know. I'm being stalked. They're tracking me yeah. or something. This is it's totally probably TMZ or something like that following you around, knowing where you are. Cause they have that TMZ live show. I don't know show. who it yeah. is. Yeah. TMZ people. I, Jesus. I, I don't know, but McDonald's has a thing uh, to just find me and stalk me. It's just that's like my I'm, son's I'm dream. done with McDonald's. I'm done. Yeah, with you're, McDonald's. you're never going to have McDonald's again. You've had enough. How could you? I'm, I'm disgusted with the, with that company. How so did, did did McFlurry end up all over the doctor's office? All over the place. I had Jesus. Uh, it was it was in the bag. It was on the chair on, the, you know, on the on the bench chair in the office. Hey, you guys want to know what's cool? Mm. Mm. What? Therapy. Yep. Very cool. You know, it's, I just had a session um, yesterday. It's amazing how I feel before and after. It's like going to the gym. 
but for your emotion. That's right. And that's why we love better help because this month they are discussing some of the stigmas around mental health. One of them being like Rob was saying that some people think you need to wait until things are unbearable to go to therapy. And that simply isn't true. Therapy is a tool to utilize before things get worse, before they can turn bad and it can help you avoid those lows. Also, many people think therapy is for so-called crazy people. I mean, are we crazy? But therapy doesn't mean something's wrong with you. It means you recognize that as human beings, we have emotions and we need to learn to control them, not avoid them. Also, we've been taught that mental health shouldn't be part of normal life, but that's wrong too. And I'm we are so happy here. We talk about our mental health all the time and how important it is. And better help is one way to help you get there. So tell them about how they can sign up. Boys. Yeah, this whole pod is a is a, a read for betterhelp.com. <laughs> BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than an in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp online therapy. And Pajama Pants listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash pajama. That's better. H E L P dot com slash pajama. Mm -hmm. Do your mind right. You know what? You know why these boys are upset right now? Because I got my Everlane clothing and they didn't yet. And what's Everlane? If you've been living under a rock, you guys listen, you deserve the luxury of the coziest warmest, most comfortable sweaters available without any of the downside because Everlane has high quality, sustainably made sweaters that will keep you cozy all winter with the options like 100% recycled cashmere and responsibly sourced wool. You can feel good about getting comfy. I also, I know we're here to talk about the sweaters. You know, we're talking about alpaca, cashmere, like we said, but I got a pair of corduroys from them that are pretty much my favorite pants I've ever gotten in my life. Mm. Oh, see, I like their stuff is pilling resistant, which when I buy a oh. hoodie or something like that and it pills up, I get, I get disgusted with it, to be honest. Yeah. And it's better for the environment. That's yep. right. And it uses only grade A cashmere sourced from Inner Mongolia. They create durable sweaters, like Rob said, that pill less and get softer with time. So go to everlane.com slash pajama and sign up for 10% off your first order plus free shipping and get easy returns within 30 days on your ship date. So that's 10% off your first order when you go to everlane.com slash pajama and sign up. On so what me. is it? what is it you like about streaming? It seems to be uh, quite a hassle. I get myself out there. Um, yeah, it, it pays my bills. It pays yeah. my bills. So does does Ronald does Ronald McDonald own McDonald's or is he just like a spokesperson? Ronald, Mc, Ronald McDonald is just the spokesperson. Yeah, he's he's a clown, it's like the mascot. I mean, I remember when I was a little kid back in uh, Illinois, back in Barrington, Illinois. I was like, I don't know four or five, maybe six years old when my mom took me to a McDonald's in Barrington, there was a freaking line of people all the way down the street. Just me, Ronald McDonald. This is back in the, uh, what, mid to late sixties. I mean, it was just a so line. He's been I following was, you since then. Oh no, 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 no. Not since then. Just, that's, you know, that's, that's quite the conspiracy. But, yeah. It's just, it's just now. Well, here's the here's what I want to know is what was it like going down to the courthouse to file a restraining order against Ron? I haven't McDonald? I haven't I haven't gone in. I haven't. Are those online forms or something? When I went, the woman more or less, she kind of laughed at me and she chased me out. She mm. she she said uh, that I needed to file it in, in Elgin, Illinois. And I I go, What? Why, why wouldn't so, she let you? So, yeah, she had like three or four. You know, there was like four different people that uh, came over to the window and uh, and they, 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 they looked at me like I was uh, just trying to joke around about this. Yeah. And, yeah. and they and they said, uh, you got to file this in Illinois. And yeah. I says, I'm serious. I'm being stalked. This is not a joke. Are you worried for your safety? I uh, Yes. Yes. Yeah, because uh, actually, Ed Gein. actually, yeah, Ed Gein. Yeah. And also, um, Perry, I, I've i seen some like wild 
uh, like animals in your hallway in your apartment that too. building. I know. And That's I, right. I don't know Dude, how close like what? To, the, to the LA Zoo. Dude, there was that a you... lion in my hallway about a month ago. One, one, <laughs> That's unreal. Uh, a month or two, my name, one or two months ago. I, I can't remember. Where's off. animal control? Like who's in charge of these things? Like how you imagine a little kid comes out. My walks neighbors into the are furious. The manager got in my face about this uh, crap. And, and she goes, you can't have zoo animals in here. And I said, I'm not the one that's bringing them. I'm not yeah. the one bringing them in. Yeah. Well, speaking of getting bring... speaking of getting in your face, a fan actually broke into your building, was bothering you in your hallway. Will you tell people what happened to him oh, when he got Ricky in your horny, face? This Ricky Unreal. Horny guy. Um, what? I'm lucky I had. I'm lucky. I'm lucky I had one of the shoes that I have on right now. Uh, he 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 embarrassed the the crap out of me. He was dancing in the hallway like a freaking punk ass jerk. Yeah. And I just I just said, Tom, I says, wait a moment. I went to my door and I saw the guy and then I just chased him down the hall and I tackled him and I smacked his head into it and I smashed his head into the ground oh. a few times. And then Whoa. I then I got up realizing what I'm doing, that if I do this anymore and, and really freaking hurt the guy that. Yeah, uh, I bet you're stronger than be, you, you he's look to be suing me. Perry, you know, this is this is look, something I wanted to bring look, up to you, Perry. He's stronger than I than I look. Um, yeah. it's called nervous strength. It's not my <laughs> right. strength. It's called right. nervous yeah. strength. It's strength that you get when you have when like like if your yeah. child is um yeah. under a car. Into a car. Correct. Perry, I don't want to um I don't want to embarrass you, but what are you getting I, emotional about? Have you had a kid trapped under a car? He, I think he's no, burping. not me. I'm just I think I'm he's just still I'm just making that, no, he that as, emotional. A, as a uh Perry, I don't want to remark. I don't want to embarrass you because I think this kind of ties in. But um, I can imagine somebody like a good looking older guy like you, probably you're being stalked and people want to show up to your door. But Jamie didn't know who you were before we started this pod and we showed her a picture. And I want her to tell us exactly word for word what you said, Jamie, when we showed you um, what Perry, a picture of Perry and what he looked like. I said he was really handsome. Thank Isn't you. That cool. I said I was like, wish I had honestly put myself together more and they give me more warning. <laughs> yeah. For Thank this you. Thank podcast. You. Thank she said you. she would have worn a dress Jamie, or something. Jamie, I would have done makeup. You are everything. gorgeous. Without the makeup on. Okay? Oh, thank wow. you, Perry. Nice, if Perry. you're gorgeous so, looking like this. This is why you have I, so many stalkers. Sweetie, sweetie, if you're as gorgeous as you are looking like this, as compared to when I see you, dressed up for like yeah. the TV show. Yeah. I'll take you as my wife any day. Oh, wow. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah. Are you Good are you to know. A, are you Perry, single? Are you cry, How could Perry you be single again, if you're Perry? a movie star? I've got I've got a lot of female friends, but uh yeah, I figure nobody nobody steady no steady girlfriends. Just they're, they're just friends. Are you on like dating years. apps? No. How do you he meet these meet girls? Those. Yeah, I mean they just come to you. I've right, got Perry? girls that come on my stream constantly. Like as well as what? I've got girls that come on my stream that I that I know on Instagram. Oh. Girls from my God, from my junior high and high school years that uh, yeah. that uh, I've they been, missed the boat. Uh, friends with for ages, uh, as well as um, the the fighter Gina Carano. Oh, uh, yeah. I saw Gina um, Carano on one of your streams and, and there was talk of her coming over. Did Gina ever end up coming over? Or? She hasn't come over yet. I'm I'm kind of upset uh, over the fact that I don't know if she's going to show up on my birthday or not. You know, when's your oh, birthday? For a surprise. 17th oh, of November. Wednesday. Yeah. Happy early birthday. This is going to come you. out a couple days um, before your birthday. So hopefully you. if you guys are watching this, uh, go wish Perry, a happy birthday. You're on uh, Instagram and Twitter, right, Perry? I'm on. I normally show up on, on Instagram more than Twitter. I, yeah, go to, uh, go to his Instagram, Twitter guys. At Perry Caravello. Um, I've been on Twitter in quite some time, but I, I went on today. You know what I can't help but think is like Jamie seems to be having a problem with an insect in her house. And I feel like I do. Were, I'm so sorry. This no, no. It's, like it's, it's, if you were married to her, like yeah, what would you if, if you were married to her, you'd you, be there to take care of the problem. I take care of that for you, girl. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, this very large moth keeps circling my head and I'm, I'm trying to be present, but I'm really worried about it landing right. on me. Perry, what's with the gloves, uh, the fingerless gloves? What were you doing? It's called it's called uh, Copperfit. 
I, I have. Oh like yeah, a, Brett Favre uh, uses that. I have a like like an arthritis thing. I don't know. Mm, and it worked. Does it work? Must, yeah. Actually yeah, I hope that. Yeah, I hope it clears it up. Well, you're me. an athlete, right? I know you're a snowboarder. A skateboarder, skateboarder, snowboarder, bicycle. People want me to remove my tattoo, and it's bullshit. That's not getting removed. Yeah, I put it on my it. body. It's not coming off my body. Can you get a close? Okay? Telling you, you to get take a close it off. up to the camera of your, of your tattoos. There, let's see. I see a, a guy with a skull with a fedora, and I see a scroll. What does the scroll say? S- skateboarder, snowboarder, actor, and comedian. Oh, those oh. are like your jobs. All four That's of them. Smart. That's interesting because you have skateboarder first. I would think actor or comedian would be first. Yeah, no? you put skateboarder above all that. Huh? Well, yeah, because I, my my life started out skateboarding. Mm. I was in the dirt biking, and uh, then I went to, from dirt biking into skateboarding. Oh, but, yeah. Did, uh, you know any of those uh, Z boys? Did you ever mix it up with the Z yeah, boys down yeah, here in Dogtown? Tony Alva was the one that helped me start my my skateboard company. Uh, oh, do you want to plug I that? Wanted, do I want to plug that? Yeah, do you want to plug your skateboard? No company? need to plug that. No need yeah. to plug that. I'd rather plug. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather plug uh, Perry Carvel Live and. Uh, of course, absolutely. I can't tell you guys and, uh, uh, enough also, about it. Also, plug the uh, my new Smiling Friends show that I'm going to be on on uh, on Adult Swim. Oh Coming wow! This fall, this fall or this winter, they're they're these guys watched my stream and they they got me a show and they hooked up with Tom my publicist and, and said, we want to put this guy on a show and bing, bang, boom. And, and, uh, um, I all of a sudden got a phone call to go do a show. Is it a live action show or is it, are you doing a voice? What, what, can you tell us a little bit about that? It's, it's a cartoon mm. called smiling friends, but my part on the cartoon in the cartoon, I guess is, is live action. They got me live action on the, uh, Oh, cool. Cartoon. Yeah. So he so Tom, uh, when we reached out to you, you told us to contact Tom and we've been talking to Tom and he's helped us out a lot. through Tom's this. My he's, boss. he's great for you, huh? Yeah, he's an awesome guy. He's an amazing Tom's, Tom's guy. The best. Yeah. Tom saved my life more than once. He's an awesome guy. That's great. Yeah. Well, I feel like he saved our lives today. Without uh, Tom, I'd be putting you on this right pod, now. you know? Yeah. Um, it feels like the uh, your apartment has seen uh, a little bit of change in the last few weeks. Um I, I understand uh, there was, I like to talk about your podcast as before the microwave was turned around and after the microwave was turned around. Big moment. It's not, it's not um, a that was podcast, one of the best moments. Stream. It's not a podcast. It's a stream. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. My apologies. Cast, your stream. It's on the notes. Oh, why do right you here? call it that? Yeah. No, no, no. That's, that's on me. Uh, because... Perry. But, but when that microwave turned around, um, oh, I remember so where I was, I, I was with my girlfriend and we were, we, we were actually having sex and I had to, I had to pull out. And were just, you one of the people in Kansas city celebrating at that restaurant when I turned I, the microwave around? I wasn't in Kansas those city, people, but I talked to those I, guys. I, I laughed my ass off when I saw that video. They were all watching it on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> it was unbelievable. There was, there was over 500 people in this bar. When, oh, they probably saw me, more. when they, yeah, they said over 500 people in this bar. And when they saw me turn this thing around behind me, it was like, yeah, I just started busting up. I couldn't believe how funny it was. Well, so what's wrong think, with the microwave? Why no, do you think they just so want, excited? Because everybody's been wanting to turn around the microwave, turn around the microwave. Yeah. I mean, my 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 bitch sister-in-law hacked into my stream Jesus. and to fuck me up and to fuck my, my living up and stuff. So, um... It was like a week, I think. And, and for order and for me to get my stream back, I had to turn it around. So, so how did she hijack your stream? Yeah, and what makes her? Uh, I, I don't know. Bitch? She's she's a computer hacker. She's just oh, she's like anonymous, rich. huh? Is Let's that like I've heard dangerous evil. people now? Yeah, you don't yeah. want to cross. Them I've heard did they mention her? Some person. hot Amy? Is that her? She calls herself hot. She's not hot. She's despicable. She's That's your sister in law you're you're talking yeah. about there, Perry. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She's so I gotta bitch. say, you know, the the fedora has I feel like I see other people wearing it, and to me, it just no says like, like Perry. yeah, it's your trademark, really, right? No Thank you. Like I've been I I started the fedora scene when I was uh skateboarding back in the 70s. I mean, it originally I I'm I'm not gonna lie or BS about this. I originally got the look off of Tony Alva and Jay Adams 
when they wore the fedora brim back in the 70s. Well, those are cool. And I would guys see them back in uh, skateboarder magazine. Yeah. But can we go fedora. back to your tattoo for a second? It, sure. it, it, it with skateboarding. What's underneath skateboarding? Skateboarder, snowboarder, actor, comedian. Oh, okay. So can you so snowboarding you were you're very good at and you've probably done since I, you were a child? I I did I went snowboarding twice in 2000. Haven't been since I'm going snowboarding Thanksgiving Day. Oh, Twice in 2000, been... meaning like that was the last time or like ever? Last time. The last okay. time. The, the, and so, okay, how many total times, times? How many I've total times on, have you been? I've only been on my board twice. Um, it's 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 over in, in, in just outside my bedroom. Why oh, did you so get you, it tattooed? Yeah, that's. You oh, just knew it? I don't, I don't, yeah, it was just four, four, four thoughts in my head, you know, skateboarder, snowboarder, actor, comedian. And and I wanted and I want to be a snowboarder. You're manifesting. You're putting it out there. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. And these okay. Morons, a tattoo these morons, is real commitment. Jamie and these morons, yeah. they come on my stream. They just bitch at me and bitch me, and they want me to remove it. Oh, they call Who you the things like a poser. You? Yeah, like they I'm call a you fucking, a fake. Uh, Why does it like bother anybody? Fake, what you it. have? I know exactly. But see, I normally I support all the stuff you do and yeah. all your decisions. Yeah. And I don't know what, but to me. You you were the star of your own film. Why wouldn't you put actor above snowboarder? You were you got uh, an award from the president of show business, Perry. Why wouldn't actor be above snowboarder? You're my my point um, is you're as an actor. Humble. As an actor, I find you to be an incredible actor and somebody I look up to. Thank but, you. So to say you've only been snowboarding twice, but that's higher up than. But my careers were. I should have put in there bicyclist. You know, it's um, motocross bicyclists. What are your other special motor talents? I mean, yeah. I, could, I mean, I could have gone all the way freaking back to pedal motocross and dirt biking and stuff. And you're wow. a boat guy. If you, if you want me to, if you want me to go freaking to do everything. Yeah. Please. Yeah. He's a man of the sea. Now, Perry, um, you, you have a, you have probably one of the, the most famous yells or screams in the business. Well, and I don't know what, if Jamie's ever heard it. What's funny about no. me. This is all new. Is. Before before I, I get into screaming or, or acting like a fucking pain in the ass, yeah. my dad, my dad was a high pitch yeller when he would fight with my brothers and myself. Mm. And uh, like uh, when I first originally heard Sam Kennison uh, oh, yeah. on the radio with with uh, with with yelling, I, I, I'm, I'm listening to KLOS here in L.A. one day. And um, boom, I, I I just started busting up. I'm thinking this guy's my dad. So so you, hey Perry, you know I told you again. And I'm gonna tell you, dump the fucking trash. You know, like yeah, wow. Like that. Did you see that? But, and and acting is under snowboarding, and he acts like this. It's fucking incredible. So, I gotta say, Perry, that tattoo is a shame. Thank you. If me and Castle were ever going to fall off the wagon, Yami, you know where we would do it. That's right. We're going With to First, First Leaf, Leaf, baby. Yeah, because we'd all look. go to your house and we would hit up First Leaf and they would help us fall off the wagon. That's right. Anyone who drinks wine like Cutter and I know that the options are limitless, which is why finding a wine you like can really be hit or miss. It's hard to try anything new because of the very success selections and everything. But now that we are First Leaf Wine Club members... We only get the hits. That's because experts at First Leaf who know our personal palate send wines that we love right to our door. And there's always something new to try. So what is First Leaf? It's a wine club that curates and ships wines that are perfect for you. And since they work with renowned winemakers all over the world, there's virtually no limit to the variety of wines you get to try. And not only does First Leaf introduce you to all these new wines, but each box just gets better. And when you wait, rate the wine you receive and First Leaf will learn more about your palate. Um, Cutter is a big fan of Cab, but it's how he has a hard time you know, straying from the brands that he likes. And they have sent us four or five brands that it truly feels like it just keeps getting better. Yeah. You got to cultivate your algorithm. You know, you've got to yeah. make that algorithm super cream, baby. This is like having a sommelier in your mailbox. Wow. 
That's a big word for a guy like you. <laughs> Join today and you will get six bottles of wine for $29.95 and free shipping. Just go to tryfirstleaf.com slash pajama and get six bottles of wine for $29.95 and free shipping at tryfirstleaf.com slash pajama. Guys, listen, it's the holidays and Kasim mm. wants to celebrate the holidays with his 4 p.m. Spritz Boys, which if you don't know who that is, we all have tushy bidets. Uh, from Hello Tushy. We love our Tushy bidets. But what most of us do is we just go to the bathroom, we use it to clean ourselves up, and then we don't have to shower after. We don't have to worry about maybe not being so fresh. But what Kasim does, mm -hmm. Kasim, in the middle of the day, when yep. he doesn't even have to poop, he doesn't have any poop on him, nothing, he will go sit on his toilet, just spray the Tushy on him for a nice little refresher. Can I change it? Because as we're going into the fall months, oh, yes. No longer am I home during the summer. Summer days. Oh, I am doing an early evening evaluation. Oh, oh wow! It's an it's a triple E. And what I do is I come home from work. I've been walking around all day. I've been busy hosting, uh, doing this. I'm the guy, you know. And you I do come, a little snap of the elastic. I snap the elastic. I, I sit down and I just give myself an early evening evaluation spritz, and wow. it just cleans me right up, and I feel better. And uh, I'm just generally a cleaner person because also you never know when you're going to get a little bit of action. I don't want you to talk about this anymore because I don't want to picture you get using it anymore. Listen, so if, you're near, if you're near a mirror, me, if you're near a mirror and you still wipe your butt with toilet paper, I want you to take a good Stop look it. in that mirror. You shouldn't because like that you, No, in your face. You shouldn't yeah, like the person staring back I, at you. I don't like that person because that is terrible. And if you have a girlfriend or a wife or a husband or this, guess what? They don't like you either. Start okay. using... It's okay, hello guys. tushy. Clean your Just ass, give the people. gift of a clean bum to yourself or your loved ones this holiday season and get 10% off plus free shipping right now at hello tushy.com slash pajama. Tag us and at pajama pants podcast and at hello tushy on social media so we can celebrate your clean tush. Hello tushy.com slash pajama for 10% off and free shipping. So what do you guys like most about my stream? Rob? I mean, I, I love being you. I love... Uh, I love the food stuff. I'm more of a um, a clip watcher, you know, because I know the streams are like five hours long, but there's there's some channels out oh there God. where they show just the clips and your clips are just incredible. You know how they clips are great. I love that you take no shit when there's people bothering That's you in your hallway. Gonna say. I was going to say Thank the you. way that you deal with people that are bullying you, you put them in their place, Perry. And they know that you take no shit. You take no prisoners. Hot. You, Thank you. I, I, I am the fed up with people so bullshit and I don't accept people's shit for no love of money. You does shouldn't. that turn you on? Jamie, I, Jamie, I, I does just, that, yeah. like, you find that attractive okay. in a person who has those sure. qualities? Very, Jamie, very. if you weren't married, would you go on a date with Perry? Well, don't put yeah, don't put the course. pressure on her. Okay. I mean, is she married or is she? I yeah. Married? No, yeah. She's she's married. married. Two okay. children. Okay. But if she was, if she's still, you know, they they swing. So kids? if you want to, nice. if you want to, you know, flirt with her, it's fine. That her husband is cool with it. They have an open relationship. Yeah, mm -hmm. you. They. She does well, flirt. It well, is. Well, that's open. nice. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to no, mess can. up her marriage. No, no, no. no, that, no. They're, they're, they have I'm an honored. I'm seriously honored. I I didn't know that she was married. Perry, say so you I'm guys had an opportunity to go on a a date. Like, where would you take Jamie on like a uh, a first date? Well, first date would probably be my normal uh, my normal restaurant over there in Hollywood on Sunset, the Rainbow Bar and Grill. You know, I saw I actually saw a video of you on what seemed like a date with a woman. You were sitting next to a woman at a dinner and somebody came at a nice dinner and somebody came and delivered you McDonald's to the nice dinner. Oh, my God. I was God. out with friends and I was being stalked. It was bullshit. I, I couldn't believe it. That's Do you ever cool consider security? Have you ever considered like to have some security? I'm going to have to. It's just, yeah, I, it's it's an expense that I don't have right now. I bet right. one of your viewers would but, do it. But, free but for what free. really was upsetting was I was in a fancy steakhouse in the city right. of Burbank. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. And all of a sudden some guy walks in with a bag with, with the McDonald's arches on it. And I'm looking at him and I'm, and I start rolling my eyes and I'm going, Oh Jesus, this guy's going to be oh. coming to me. You and he walked right, right over to me. He knew exactly who I was when he saw yeah. me. Probably the walked fedora. Over and he, and he, I, did I have the fedora on at the time? I don't remember. I, I, I mean, hope but, so. Uh, Let's just say you probably. I, I believe I took it off while I was sitting at the table. 
Oh with yeah, gentlemen. gentlemen with my with my um class act uh fans and uh oh you uh, went guy. to dinner with fans yeah yeah very nice, nice very nice people they're I, incredible i hope dinner. they paid i and i hope yes, some of them did. are watching they this did. you know yeah. I hope I'm not overstepping nice. my bounds here. I've I've been friends with Jamie for about 25 years. I I kind of feel like you're uh, you have a little crush on Perry, Jamie. Jamie's well, Jamie's. You're acting real like coy and shy, and she's not. Well, he's normal. very handsome, and you know I love movie stars. So. Whoa, 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 whoa! You got a crush on me, sweetheart. I got a crush on you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, from stop. the beginning of Sopranos, Look we started, dude. Ugh. The you beginning want, you of want Sopranos. To know the, you want to know the the list of uh, of Soprano catalog I have? I think I got nine seasons. In Perry, my, I, in my, oh, you uh, have the full catalog, Perry. Perry, I hate to break it to you. When Sopranos started, Jamie was sixteen. You might want to take that back. I had a crush in Italy. That's it fine. She was only 16. I'm just saying, I'm just I'm trying to look out for you, Perry. I know they come after you. I don't want to give them more reasons. <laughs> Thank you, know? you. Thank yeah. you. But I, but again, it was it was a TV show. Absolutely. So, yeah, we reached out to some of our fans, Perry, and we said, hey, we're having Perry on. If you have any uh, questions, maybe for Perry Caravello. Awesome. The first awesome. one awesome. we got was from a, a fan named Christina P. She says, is <laughs> Perry single? The first yes, I am. one you are. But yes, how I am. So when's the last time you were uh, in a serious relationship? Linda Johnson uh, was a neighbor upstairs originally. I thought that was a president. I I was just going to say, was that, was he (laughs) Uh, the president in the seventies? No, Linda. Linda Linda. Johnson, you guys. Linda Johnson. She was a penthouse pet. Harry's not gay. Linda B. She she was a penthouse pet back in 87. Wow. She was also Duff McKagan's wife back in the Guns N' Roses era. Mm. Wow. So if we know who, if you guys know who Duff McKagan is, some so, people say that I, that I killed her cats, but why would they say that? When, why would they say uh, that, Perry? Her cats were ill. She asked me to help her, you know, bring the cats down the street uh, to, to this um, pet place when I moved, after I moved her in Hollywood. So hold on, folks. I guess I get somebody at my door. Hang on. Yeah, um, go for it. No right problem. problem. We'll, we'll just pause here. It's so great to have. Perry, Perry on. What's um, happening? <laughs> Jamie, I don't know. I think you're falling in love. I think Jamie's confused because she's falling in love. I just like. Your I'm trying to soaked. understand everything. Motherfuckers! Oh, is it more McDonald's? I what do you think? said oh, no. on the last show. Oh no! That there is never again to be a McDonald's delivery at my house. Ever the fuck again? And I'm getting another fucking McDonald's delivery. Fuck McDonald's. The son of a bitch. Yeah, I mean, let's just, yeah, we got to open See what I fucking thing. mean? Oh, I've got the you. I don't want, but I'm going to send it over here anyway. Yeah, save it. That save seems kind of nice, though. A coffee seems kind of nice. Motherfuckers, I'm, I'm not eating it. I'm not drinking Who it. Who cooks coffee in a bag? No, I mean. I just had dinner. That's fine, Perry. Yeah, that explains the birth thing. by McDonald's. Perfect. Another filet of fish. Ugh. Gross. Okay, we'll just set fucking that aside fish. for a second, but don't and fish. I don't Hold want on. it. I don't Perry, fucking can you hear us? It. Perry, can you I'm hear us? Opening it or nothing? No, he has the headphones Hold on. We'll, he we'll, can't he- hear us. we'll tell him when he puts his headphones on. Fuck that we... Fucking assholes. Here's the cue respected. Okay. Yeah, Perry. Here's we... the fucking cue. Here's the cue respected. I'm going to take a sip. I'm not taking a bite. Fuck the bite. I'm not eating anymore. Perry, I think uh, Jamie and Rob and I would. We want to make sure that we do right by your audience, and it would be great to just make sure you you take a bite of that fillet of fish and give oh, us a, a just a, a, a review. Why? I'm not eating anymore. God damn it! I'll take a fucking bite. That is it. Son of a bitch. Well, can you? And also, I'm sure people want to know what's on it. If you could tell people, yeah, let's just. It's a fillet of fish. Sure. Pickles that are going to be removed. Okay. Um, so you, you don't like pickles. He doesn't. Like I can't pickles. stand pickles. Oh, now now this one is good. It doesn't have pickles on it. Okay. The last one that I had saw had pickles oh, on thank it. Thank God. See, one fan who wrote in said that that's the mascot sandwich of the Perry Caravello show. Mm, I don't know why it's the mascot sandwich. I don't want it to be the mascot sandwich. It's disgusting. It's fucking poison in my eye. Yeah. I hate fucking McDonald's. I hate fucking McDonald's filet of fish. But I got to eat it anyway. Well, I got to say, it's an honor to see you take a bite of wow. that sandwich on Thank our you. pod. Thank you for doing that. 
And what do you? Th- how was it? Disgusting. Yeah. Do you not like fillet of fish sandwiches? I can't stand them. We appreciate your respect in the the. They Q, say it's the mascot sandwich a character of a life. I don't know why they do that to me. Perry, was there a second uh, sandwich there that I saw? Yeah. Can I you just so. can we open it up? I just want to see if there if that one uh, what that one has on it. Oh, there's some. Oh, there's some. You more sound sandwich. like my boss, man. This is bullshit. Uh oh, who Tom? Yeah, no, yeah. This- you sound like my boss, Tom. He just sounds like a normal guy. I think anybody would want to see what's in the bag. It's like uh, a, another, you know, another just a really emotionally well balanced, like smart, funny guy. I he's, think. he's a good guy. Another sandwich. OK. Yeah. OK. And the only thing that I'm thankful for is there's no pickles on these two sandwiches. Thank you. What was you that other thing that you pulled pickles. out? Well, there was another. And I guess that- I got to take a bite out of this one out, too. Yeah. Um, you just is complete bullshit. Perry, but you're doing it for the for the fans. And, and it's which great. is great. And, and we really appreciate that. I'm uh, respecting well. the queue. Yeah, you have nice. to respect the queue. And was there something else I saw you pull out there? Nothing else is in the bag. Okay, all right. So when you when you eat dinner on your own, do you wear the gloves? Oh, the bag is empty. We can it's verify. I saw an empty. Bag. I'm not even streaming tonight, so you know I. Yeah. Look, why am I well, getting deliveries? So this is bullshit. Oh well, it's I think fans bullshit. know, uh, Perry, that um, you were going to be on our show, so maybe they thought that um, they could kind of help support you because it's kind well, of nice what? to not have to buy your food fans on your own. That, your fans are probably uh, fans on my stream as well because yeah, they're fucking crossover. assholes. They're yeah, fucking there's a lot assholes. of crossover, and I'm and I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. I can't stand McDonald's coffee. It's not bulletproof coffee. Bulletproof <clears throat> is the best coffee ever. Dave Asprey's got the best coffee on the planet. I, I I I love that coffee, and I drink it when when I have an energy low. Are you doing a and read here, Perry? Are you are you doing an ad read? Are you I'm sponsored not doing, by Bulletproof? No, no, okay. no, no, no. I'm it's just sponsored. No, by just no. That's fine. It would just it, it would be very coffee, rude if you were going to do that on our pod without if, checking. If I was do if I was sponsored by them, that would that would be very rude yeah. of me to do something like that. It would be. No, I I love their coffee, and that's okay. just. My opinion of their coffee. I think you need coffee because you do seem a little low energy. Yeah, anything you, you could do to boost. You, you did have that. You sound like you, my boss. What are you giving me? I'm getting in my face for. I the more you no, talk about no, your boss, the more I think uh, Tom is like an, an, just a real nice guy who's who knows what he's talking about. Tom's always I, getting in my face saying, "Oh, you got to pick up the energy. You got to pick up the energy." He's like, "Fuck!" Why? But he saved your life. Okay, but he saved your life. I, I remember you saying. Yes, he saved my life. I'd be homeless without him. Well. I you think. got a beautiful place now yeah, with a great. lot of sounds stuff. Like a good guy. You have a lot of water bottles. Without Perry Caravel alive, I, I I don't know where I'd be going right now. I feel the same way. This one, uh, another email says. We got fan emails. Fan emails. This one says, the real Perry Caravello died, and I could prove it with the death certificate. The person who you are having on your show is an imposter. What? Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Where the fuck did that come from? Those are just emails in our inbox, Perry. Yeah, it says it's from Jerry. Lying sons of bitches. Why would they say that? Because they're fucking they, they're, they're full of shit. He says he can prove it with a death certificate. Perry, how would we know that you're the real Perry? Could you prove it to us? This is what Ronald McDonald sent me. OK, what's that? He wants me dead on 12, 12. That's a death certificate. This That's is a what death he's talking about. It says Perry Carvello's. This is what Ronald McDonald sent me. Oh, so this is a death certificate in the future. Yeah. Yeah. He's wanting me. He wants me dead on 12, 12. If Perry dead on the anniversary anniversary of my father's death is when they want me fucking dead. As a kismet, I think they call that, right? Something like that. It's like fate. Wow. Well, What are you going to do on the 12th to protect yourself? I'm screaming on that day. Who were you before you? You need to hire security that day. You want to come over and secure me, Jamie? No. Oh, wait, no, I got to get Gina to come over and be in my security guard. You've got you've oh, got yeah. a line of them, Perry. She's you a got... fighter. That's right. She's yeah, a fighter, she's, Gina. She's definitely the fighter. Perry, we've got some um, we've got some questions that uh, fans have sent us as well as some some okay. more emails. Do you mind if okay. we just kind of go through a few sure. of these with you? OK, so they uh, they said that they want to they want you to explain why you changed your middle name from Francis from I never had a middle name, Francis, Perry, Frank, Caravello, P. 
period. Oh, Frank is what it is now. But yeah, it's saying, always been Frank. It Frank. It's always been Frank. It says here F R A N C I S. I don't give a Frank. fuck. <laughs> it's not Frank is it's Francis. Frank is my I name is Frank. That's where he got Frank. F R A N K. So they said you changed it, but it's not true. It's not true. It's I believe bullshit. you. I don't believe some fucking thank you emailer, but I just I just it's interesting. And then um somebody Francis. else here says you use a portable toilet. Yeah, why would you use a portable toilet, Perry? Right. Why would I use a portable? No, no. Like a potty? They're trying to call my patio a fucking piss a piss and shit patio. Because they're oh, a bunch well, of fucking it? disgusting pigs. Why wouldn't would you just use a regular toilet, Perry? God, where is that? What are you um, looking for? What's oh, looking? hold on. I yeah, got a painting. Please, yeah. I got a painting behind me that says piss and shit, Patty. Hold on. Yeah, we'd love to see that. This is going really good. How are you feeling, Amy? No, this is. Uh, I'm just trying to process. This could be, yeah, this. Yeah, it's behind the boat. You got to move the boat for that, Perry. This yeah. fucking boat needs to go. Mm. What do you think of our guest, Jamie? I'm speechless. Is this what you were thinking when we said we were going to have a movie star on today? Mm, no. I'm trying to find it. I was thinking way more conventional. Oh, but this is. This, is, is this, this angle is, turning you on? <laughs> um, we I see the back side good, of Perry for those yeah. who are listening. Oh, it looks like he's got a few different. He's got a lot it's of a paintings. lot of them. Wow, that's Look a lot of art. Stupid fucking paintings sent to me. Those are Perry's cool. Ridiculous. Patty. And here's, here's the one that. Uh, the piss and shit patio one. Wow. Okay. Wow. They're trying to make it look like I, Free I have shit a patio you can piss and shit piss. on, which is complete bullshit. Any piss only 25 cents. And That's got pretty. got a gallery behind me like you saw me fucking with uh, just a moment ago. Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty shit when you're first <laughs> Yeah. And Perry, how much do you usually no charge bullshit. for a piss? I don't think you can hear you because no, the I headphones. I don't head? charge anything because you can't piss oh, he here. Can hear us. Not yeah. Allowed. Oh, so the the piss is free since you're you don't charge them. Not free. My patio is not a patio to piss Quick, on. Quick, how many water bottles do you count? I see four. One, two, three. Four. <laughs> I only see three. I drink water, okay? Yeah. Oh, I see four. Okay. Well, thanks for clearing that up uh, for us there, Perry. If if you wouldn't mind, we we have a few more. Uh, comments and this emails. fucking boat has got to go i can't live with this for 30 fucking days it's a nice color scheme though i like it, it looks really it pops. looks good yeah it pops you know it gives you like um Tom it just looks nice off at me because yeah. he keeps telling me that i gotta keep it and i keep yelling at him that i gotta get rid of that you have to res shit. respect the the viewer that's one thing i, I know. know i've been online for many years perry and i know you you kind of just have to excuse me it's a fish excuse. fillet yeah mm -hmm. you want a boat in your fucking home behind you like, like that definitely not no, see, I, I listen to this guy. We, we only have a few more questions uh, from the listeners, but uh, okay. one of them is, it says, give Perry your address and he'll send you copies of Moenetics. But I don't know what that means. Oh, what's Mo? No, Mo no, 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 do not. Uh, I, the the Moenetics bullshit. Yeah. This Moen drip scumbag piece of garbage is doing what he can to poison me and poison others by sending them his sick, demented book. I wouldn't mind reading. Somebody's Mo sending Moenetics. out books called Moenetics, and they're saying that it's coming in my name. After we get the, the books, this is offering me, Jamie, and Kasim only a free trip to Barstow, but I don't even know where that is. Yeah, why would no, we No, do go not Barstow, go to Barstow. Barstow. What is do that? Do not go to Barstow. What do you have against Barstow? Robert, please listen to me. Please listen to me. Okay? Sure, of course, Perry. Get closer to the... This is a cult. Mm -hmm. This is a, uh, a despicable religious satanic cult. Yeah. These people... The city of Barstow is the city of Barstow. But this demonic satanic cult will brainwash you, make you fucking weird, and, 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 and turn you to do things that you never thought you would ever do. And this is not and you're saying you're not affiliated with. I these want nothing to do with it. these people. I want nothing to do with these people. Then why would they say that you would send us copies? Of that? I'm just wondering because they're fucking liars. Oh, that's the devil. And say, please listen to me. Do not read that book. 
I will. Why, comes- why do people mess with you so much? Is it just because you're such a bit a mu- movie star? Jamie, d- didn't you get messed with when uh, you first got in the show business? Not like this. There's a jealousy factor that's yeah. going on, it's and terrible. people want so to just sorry. fuck with me, and it's I see that you don't deserve sick. it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Yeah, and, and do me the favor of do not go to bar show ever. No, no, and we we've had uh, movie stars on her. here. We've had Emmy winners. We've had everything, and you're you're my favorite guest so far. I just want to say um, I we've had many <laughs> celebrities. I've on never this seen them like this. Perry, we've had uh, we've had I am Michael so Abirioli. thankful. I am so thankful for that lovable remark, Rob. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you. And and th- that's no bullshit. And Thank and you. we just have like we have a whole we have a whole lot of stuff to get to. So if you wouldn't mind, I have um I got some, nothing but time for you guys. Some right questions now. that um some fans sent in that they um thought ask we could ask like. you if we could just kind of rapid fire these. Um, recently you revealed that your mom gave you a, a coffee enema. Um, I, I, was, a young, I was a, I was a 14, I thought a 14 or 15 year old kid. I mean, I couldn't take a shit for what was it like a week or longer. And, and, uh, yeah, I was, you gotta do it. How'd she my do mom that? Used, my mom used one of her, used, uh, her, uh, douche bag, you know, the things you hang up by the top of a, of a door. Yeah. You know, a, 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 like I said, a douche bag that you hang at the top of a door. Yeah. Pour coffee yeah. inside it. And you got the hose and and the hose. And, and, and your mom, your mom filled it up with coffee and hot you coffee. stuck something course. up your ass when you were. Did you say hot coffee? Post yeah. Liberty, hot coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. how it works? Yes. Perry, it, seem, it seems like your mother sexually assaulted you. Did it burn? No, it's not sexual assault. Did it, it burn? Was, it was it was it was it was done in the right manner. Was it McDonald's coffee? No, it was Maybe my mom like making McDonald's Folgers coffee. coffee. But I don't think I've heard of these. Bef- I've heard of these before, but I don't think it's supposed to be hot coffee, Perry. This was hot coffee. This was Perry. Hot coffee. She used her own um, douche her douche bag. Yes. On your anus. Yeah. Oh, Jamie, yeah. what do you think of that as a mom? Jamie, would you I, ever coffee enema one of your children? If when the doctor pu- told me to. After puberty. Let's keep in mind this was after puberty. No, I'd have cut yeah, it. Yeah, correct. So this is after your kids have, you know, their dongles are the right size and they've got pubic hair. And no, then I'd give him the instructions. I mean, when you, when, you have, when you have a child that has uh, uh, a problem taking a dump right. for more than a week, I mean, that's the... That's the the most logical. Not way a suppository. Of, not. No. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, Perry, I mean, I've when, heard that when, you're um, um, Perry. I've heard you're well endowed, and uh, which is, you know, I, that's not really any of my business. It's I'm just, not getting naked on the stream. No. So no, no. 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 We're we're not. on YouTube. We can't have that. We anyway. can't. We, we can't ask you to do that. I'm just saying, if you're a, well, if it's well, true, we and you will are all get thrown off the internet. Perry, yeah, are you, sure. is it true? Are, are you well endowed? Would you say and you don't have to answer it if you don't want, but I mean, I'm maybe not just answer it. A I'm nod. Not or, it. If your mother was to give you a coffee enema to her well endowed son, do you think she that would make her proud? She did a good <laughs> job. I mean, whether it be that I'm well endowed or that I'm not well she's endowed. Proud, yeah, I mean, she's proud of the fact that she's proud of the fact that she that you're well endowed. was successfully successfully able to get me to take a dump again. Right. And do you think to... she and there's no way that she like looked at looked at your penis or anything like that? that while makes, she was no, doing it. please. She's not. She's she had a job to do and she did it and she mm. uh, took care of my my problem. But my uh, so just, Perry, don't I go just, into my my penis size or. Yeah, we could let that go. Bullshit. The legend stands. You know, I think people. <laughs> Thank know. you. The, yeah. the, the, the I really only have one more question before we let you go. It's like, go ahead. I see. uh the way Jamie's looking at you and everything. And if, if anything ever happened with her and her husband, this, would you be okay? Cause she has two kids. So would you be okay? Kind of stepping in as a father figure for the two kids, or are you not mm-hmm. ready for I'd be that? More than happy to be a father figure for her kids. If she came to California and, uh, would you, you move know, to Austin to for her? She lives Austin, in Austin. Te- she lives in Austin, yeah, she Texas. Lives in Austin yeah. Oh, Beautiful home. Well, my my dad, when he was alive, had a place up in Leander, Texas. So, do you know where that is, Jamie? 
and nope. uh, mm-hmm. that's the northwest suburb of Austin. But, okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I think I would move to Austin if uh, okay if uh, Jamie wanted to uh, say goodbye to her husband and and uh, and uh, actually, whereabouts are you guys located in Austin? We're no, we're in LA. But what if, yeah. what if Jamie didn't want to say goodbye to her husband and just kind of wanted to do? They call it a truple. Is a that right? Thruple. Like a thruple. So like we have a you, casita. You could stay in there. A who? What? Like a little guest house. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Like if 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 she, her husband was still in the picture, but he works, he travels a lot. He uh, he used to be a professional athlete, so he was always on the road. So they have a you know sometimes they have somebody else come in and kind of fill yeah. in for when he goes away for a couple of weeks. So like that a would pinch hitter, Perry. Yes. Yeah. Would, would you be all right with that? I need that? to do my stream. So I get, would I be able to do this stream from your uh, in your do- casita? She's doing okay. it right now from yeah the casita. All right, then then uh, we would do the stream from the casita. Great. Okay. Uh, that's this is working out great. That'd be cool. Perry, uh, what happened? What happened in 1992? It says here. I got in the show business. That's all you need to know. Dan, yeah, I'm happy you did, man. And that's yeah. it. It just says yeah. something happened in 1992. Yeah, I got in the show business. I got my first acting role in 92. Wow. Uh, uh, my first extra acting role in 92. Beautiful. Uh, it just says, but I am a fan. And, okay, now this one. Okay. It's a 1992 story, but I'm a fan and I know you don't like to talk about that so we can skip it unless you want to tell the story. It might help some struggling actors or people looking to get into the business to know the true dangers of show business, which is pretty important because we do have a lot of actors that listen to this podcast. So if there's anything you could do to help kind of new actors. I had my very first casting director was not the kind of guy you really want to have as an extras casting director. Okay. Yeah. And he did some bad shit to me uh, for for some stupid thing that I got in trouble for, which was absolutely ridiculous. And uh, I, that's as far as I'm taking it. I'm was he violent with you? Yeah, did he hit you? He, he wasn't violent with me. It was just it was just. He, he basically wanted me to suck his dick and I told him no. <laughs> so he sucked mine and excuse me for the belch. That's okay. It's no problem. So he Good sucked timing. mine. He sucked mine, and I jerked him off, and that's it. Oh, All right. Oh, you said you said no. Okay. I said no for him. I said no to giving him a blowjob, but he said I'll have you working with Christina Applegate tomorrow. And I thought about it, and I and I didn't want to do it, but then I said, "All right," and then I let him blow me. I I just want to say. Uh, I got into show business without doing anything ever like that. But I just want to thank you for sharing that story because it's it's extremely brave. You're lucky I'm sure that I said it that that brief and that. Uh, yeah, you guys don't have to do that to get work in Hollywood. And and Perry, thank you so much for. Uh, it's getting a lot story. better, but uh, it's still a scary town. Back in those days, it was nuts. Maybe that story will save. Uh, some people who listen to the show and they're thinking about coming out to Hollywood, they know that's that's not how this town works. No, maybe. OK, it's yeah. not, this town is not supposed to work out that way. Right. But sometimes people get fucked up in their uh, situations with getting into Hollywood. Well, Perry, I could tell you uh, you're you before coming into this, you were my favorite actor. Now you're my favorite podcast guest and, mm-hmm. uh, and live stream host. I mean, the oh, only man. Re- the only regret that I Thank really you. have. I gotta have you guys. I gotta have all three of you on my stream. We'd love I it. Need to Honestly, have you guys on my stream. I sometime. would love it. And uh, you just name the time and place, and I'm there. Unless it's I'm busy. okay. You guys all know know my boss, Tom Brennan. Absolutely, yeah. he's a great okay. guy. Talk to Tom, and he'll schedule the uh, the the day and the show time and all that good stuff. Yeah, perfect. And I just want to say the the one regret I really have in life is that. Uh, that Sopranos is is over because uh, we would have loved to have you on the show. Yeah. I think you would have been fantastic you on the show. You would have fit right in on that show. I would, you guys, if I was able to have ever been on on the Sopranos, if if uh, Papa Soprano never passed away, yeah. it would have been an honor and an honor to be a guest on the Sopranos. And yeah. you would have been great because there was a high level of acting on that show. And I think you would have fit right in, man, because I really yeah. think you're Thank fantastic. You. And Thank I know you. if Thank Papo you. Soprano was here today, he, he would say, you know, he's also a, a big fan. So we absolutely. I never listen, guys, I never say this to anybody, but I'm going to say this right now. 
if you want to come into my apartment for a stream, for a stream, you can come physically here for a stream. Wow. When you're in yeah. LA, when you're in LA, we can come. And I never allow inside. anybody in my apartment for a stream. Or really? I don't like to have people in my apartment. Uh, Garrett, you, you guys know who Garrett is that uh, does work on my stream? Of course. Okay. He was here the other day, and I don't even like allowing him here. Sure. I get right. in his face when he's here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he came and, in. Like It seems like you don't want people to do certain things, and then they kind of just end up doing them. That's kind of the the, the when When Tom story. was here, he had Tony Hawk with him, and I was pissed. Yeah. I was really pissed. That Why? he was in your apartment? Yeah. Well, I he, thought you're a skateboarder. This guy, yeah. this guy, and I don't even think he's he a poser. Tony Hawk. He's a definite poser. Right. Definite poser. That. Yeah. And just to Claims clear this to up. invent skateboards, uh, snowboarding. No. When I know for a fact Tom Sims was the inventor of snowboarding. I've heard that. Okay. Yeah, everyone right. knows that. Everyone knows that. Uh, yeah. And Perry, just just to clear this up, and and uh, this is not something we believe at all, but we just have to make sure that we get a, a you on video um, saying it that you you aren't Ron Jeremy. You're not Ron Jeremy, correct? <laughs> I am not Ron Jeremy. How in the hell? Because if like you were, if you were somebody else and then Ron Jeremy maybe took on your identity after you passed away and then this is like you're Ron doing Perry. Not, wait, wait, wait. I, I knew Ron Jeremy from the Rainbow Bar and Grill here in Hollywood on oh. Sunset uh, on sunset next to the Roxy. Okay. I knew mm-hmm. Ron Jeremy from there. I would run into Ron Jeremy occasionally at other nightclubs and as well over at Paladino's when Paladino's was down the street from my home over here in Tarzana. But uh, I don't know what got Ron Jeremy in the so 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 much trouble. And now they're starting to say that they're blaming me that I framed Ron Jeremy and, and had Ron Jeremy go to jail. Oh, did you do that? Bullshit. He's in of jail. Of course not. No, you wouldn't have done that. I have. No, I actually liked the guy. He was a nice guy. I had nothing bad to say about Ron Jeremy or nothing bad to have done to Ron Jeremy. Well, Perry, I just I just want to say, uh, you know, I've had problems with depression, and addiction before, and uh, this is going to just keep me riding high through the holidays into next year. And d- doing this podcast with you is really uh, it's, it means a lot to me. Perry, would you want to come you. back? Would you ever do our pod sure. again? If we, sure, I'd I mean, be more than happy. To you got to give me this. warning next time, so I yeah, can, so you, you know, can dress up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And red carpet ready. We'll have you, Perry Caravello, ready. Look, yes. look. Look about about having problems, mental mental issues and addiction problems and stuff. I've had addiction problems in my past as well. Break them, break them, break them, break them, break them. It's not easy. That's great advice. Whether is that, be, do you have a system? Be, is that Moenetics or is do you do you have like a, a no? How do you no. do that? Uh, just just get it out of your life. Oh yeah, cocaine, yeah. Pain, yeah. marijuana. Yeah, yeah. I'm in a 12 Alcohol, step, you I mean, know, and I feel like that was that's easier than just to have to do. Me. It's not an easy thing to break. I was a cocaine no. addict for quite some time. I mean, I wasn't a heavy duty nutcase. It would buy like a fucking pile of coke. No, but 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 I'm I'm done with coke and I'm done with weed. Occasionally, occasionally I'll buy a, a six pack. I'm going to make a promise to you right now, Perry, for for you doing this for the next six months. I'll remain clean and sober on on the high. And if if I ever feel like I'm I'm battling any anything, I'm going to think about today and doing this podcast with you. And it's going to get me through it because I am I'm riding high from this pod today. Wow. Look at that. That's incredible. Thank you, Perry. (laughs) You motivated me. Wow. You better have me on again because I got to keep you straight, Rob. I would I love to, man. All right. I would love to. We love All you, right. Perry. I'm happy you're staying straight these days, too, man. Thank yeah. you. We Thank love you, you, Perry. I'm straight. Yeah. I'm straight. Absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I w- and I want to thank uh, Tom for for setting this up. He really did a great job. Thank he you, really Tom's cares the about best. you a lot. Yeah. Tom's the best. I'm honored to have Tom in my life. I'm honored to have Tom as my should, as my boss. Be. Tom has been and so I'm honored thorough. to have him help me, you know, get me hooked up with the three of you. All right. Yeah. Absolutely. Let us hit you Jamie, with your plugs. Sweetheart, real quick. it's an honor to have you on. 
Thank Rob you. and and uh, you gentlemen to the. Well, we're having you on. Cassim. Uh, and, my name's Cassim Perry. Uh, Cass Cassim. Yep. Sorry. No, no, no. It's all good. Let us let us just hit your plugs real quick for all of our fans who are looking to find you. I know they'll want to see you after this. This was fucking incredible. Man. If you guys are looking to follow Perry, if you if you were unlucky, you didn't know who he was before this. Uh, go ahead and go to his Twitch account. That's twitch.tv slash Perry Caravello live YouTube dot com slash Perry Caravello live Twitter at Perry Car- Perry underscore Caravello Instagram at Perry Caravello live. TikTok at Perry Caravella Live yeah. and Smiling Friends coming soon on Adult Swim. You really motivated me today, man. Soon on Adult Swim. You yes. really motivated me, Perry. Perry, you've thank been you. entertaining us for thank years. You, and um, this is if we can uh, do anything to, to help spread the your gospel, it is truly been an honor. And we really thank you for coming. Likewise. Out. Likewise. My fans are your fans. OK, I've, you know, yeah. I, I just want to say I've, I've been to the Emmys. I've met everybody. Muhammad Ali, presidents. This this is probably the best day of my life. Dude, thank you. Thank you. You have three honored. new friends, uh, Perry. And uh, if you would just go ahead and say all three of our names again real fast, just so we can put it in a clip. and, and Jamie, it. Roberts, and uh, Cass. Yes. Cass That's them? it, man. Okay. Thank yeah, you, Perry. Cass. I'm, I'm sorry we'll be in for, contact. for messing with, uh, with, 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 with uh, the McDonald's bullshit and... Oh. It happens. Crawling in the tears. We'll just... look past that period and, and look towards the future. This was huge for me, man. I just, again, I, I, I didn't honored. expect to feel this way. Like I thought we'd laugh and have a good time, but I didn't expect to feel motivated. Wow. To, like, we'll do it again. I don't know if you've seen, uh, what, what's that movie uh, where he says, you, you make me want to be a better man. Oh, um, better. It could happen to you. No. When Harry met Sally. Uh, when Harry met Sally. Uh, you make me want to be you make me want to be with John better. Nicholson, where he said, John, John Jack, Nicholson? Jack, Jack, Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. He says, you make me want to be a better man. It, it, make it, me stranger, wanna... not stranger. Things. Something's got to give. A, Perry, do you do a Jack Nicholson impression? I do a Bobby De Niro. Uh, Can you do Bobby De Niro uh, saying you make me want to be a better man? Hey, you talking to me? You, you, you talking to me over here? But, huh? Perry, but do the line. You make me want to be a better man as Bobby De Niro. Hey, you, you, you make me want to be a better man. Wow. That's so oh good. Wow. That's so good. Fucking Perry. sensational, really good. man. Perry, it's been an honor. Uh, you're incredible. What a, you're just incredible, man. I just want to thank you for doing this. It means a lot to us. Thank you so much. Guys, thank you. And thank you for promoting Caravel, Perry Caravel Live. Of course. Okay. Thank yeah. you very yeah. much for promoting Perry Caravel Live. You're the best, man. Uh, really. Uh, forgive well, me for being a little crybaby. No, uh, no, no. It, 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 it Once hits, again, we'll look past that. It, it uh, hits right here, man. I feel it. I feel it. You know, I'm as not as much of a man as you are. So I hide that. Shit, I, but I, I feel it. I, I mean, I thought you guys were what? Rob. I'm going to joke about Rob because I thought he was just some punk kid. Up from, from no, the that's just a character. He plays. Uh, of course. Of course. Yeah. yeah, you know. And what was my Jamie name? Perry? was the girl that I dated. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and what was my name? Back in high school. Perry, what's my name? And Cassim, thank you. You're, yeah, you're, you're, you're an old now I do it a few times and it's in there now. Yeah, thank that's you, Perry. It. This is Perry. Great. We can't wait. We'll have maybe after the holidays or during the holidays, you come back and, and say hi to us. And you just uh, like oh, this yeah. would be. I'd love to do I this all it. the time. I love man. it. I love it. I love We'd it. like to have you as a regular, uh, our first official regular guest. If yeah. you would be guys, open to it. you just you just made the announcement right now. Yeah. I will um, be wow. your first a regular. Round of applause yes. to Perry Caravelle, ladies and gentlemen. Thank and thank you, Toom, uh, thank for you. breaking this a reality. We, we Tom B is, is not, don't say the word Toom. Don't oh, say is that tomb. not okay? Tom. Tom, Tom space B. Because yeah. we have an internet that says you got to put your your letters together. You right. Can't separate them. They say Toom. The fucking internet, mm-hmm. man. I hate it, but it's Tom a necessary B. evil, you know? B for his evil. last name, Brennan, okay? Tom well, B. come on. D- don't leave angry, Perry. Leave me on a happy note. I, I want to see you smiling. This was a great experience for, for me. I hope it was for you. I don't want Guys, you to be angry am, when we're I saying goodbye. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful and so honored. And, and I just thank you. You're you're amazing, man. And we love oh, you. And, you know. And take us out with a scream, Perry. Oh, oh, oh. Perry Caravelle, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Perry. Thank you, Tom, for setting it up.
talk to you guys again soon. Bye. We'll be in touch. This was beautiful. We'll probably bye bye, Jamie. Very soon, Perry. Have a good one. Well, guys, man, that's one for the books, guys. If uh, this is a new a new road, pajama pants is going down, and we hope you we hope you like it because this was one of my favorite episodes of all time. This is probably my favorite episode, and yeah, um, this we is what we're meant follow. to do. Honestly, follow Perry. Yes, on guys. Twitch. I watch a lot of Twitch. I'm telling you, no one does it like Perry. Yeah, go show him love on. Uh, show him love on his Instagram. His Instagram is at Perry Caravello live. Just let him know you saw him here and Ask you him loved what it. happened in 1992. Let's get some answers. Let's really figure out if that's, if that's really Perry there. Quite the mystery. He is. Yeah, he was, uh, I he's mean, seen a lot. He's done a lot in this town and, and he's a testament to what hard work, uh, can do, you know? Right. I, I, I we got to stop potting. I can't even keep doing this. I'm, I'm, I need, I need to, I need to eat. I need yeah. to have some water. I'm just, I'm Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to get some athletic greens and just take it straight to the dome. Uh, thank you to all our sponsors. Thank you guys for or listening and, and bearing through all the sponsors we have. We are looking for an accountant. Uh, so if anyone <laughs> is out there, uh, please email us at askpajamapants at gmail.com. We have a subreddit, uh, r slash pajama pants podcast. If oh, you guys, and the, the subreddit asked us if we'll do ask me anything, yes, whatever you guys want. There's yes. a yeah. mini thread on the subreddit. If you have a question for us, when there is enough questions on the subreddit, we will bring them in and we'll do a uh, just straight AMA. And I guess the fly that was at James is here now. Yeah, me and Jamie are on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, pajama pants on Instagram and Twitter. At Rob Perry Caravello Live is off the grid. Go go follow Perry. And if you're gonna, if you want to follow Rob. Follow Perry Caravello instead. He is our new regular guest. And Jamie, one to ten. To how is that for you? I can't even read it. Yeah, exactly. Perry, Off the you, heard it, you heard it here. We love you, man. And uh, I hope you guys love him, too. I hope you guys love this episode. I know they did. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, oh, oh!